Hey guys, what's going on? So we are at the 20th day of the new server now. I did hit level 75, still kind of rushing my level, still buying those EXP cards. But like I said, I don't think there's anything really wrong with rushing your level, just as long as you're not going to waste diamonds on it. So activity points, fine, but not diamonds. Uh, there's a lot of other useful stuff you can spend that on. By the way, first thing I want to show off, Deadly Mark. I got it on my Hades, and I actually did not need tens of thousands of pills this time. I, w I use a few, so maybe a couple hundred each time Triple Awaken comes around, which this is like the third or fourth time maybe that has come around, and so I got it now. And that's really lucky of me, and that's one of the reasons why I didn't want to spend five, six thousand diamonds in the flip card event. We also did complete Forlorn Depths with two other server members, so we were able to get that title uh, for the first layers on Forlorn Depths with Soul Hunter and Faye there. And a random shout out to Mr. Matt93 for no specific reason. Hi Mr. Matt. So we have upgraded uh, quite a few things in our guild so far. We have level 13 hull, level 10 store, and level 8 offering. Should work on the offering a little bit more. And for the random little tip of the day, I will tell you as soon as we run down to our storage here. Always keep one of these bad boys in your storage. The one contribution token, because it's happened to me a few times where I've used all my contribution before offering, so having one of those in there always is like a little insurance, you know? If you accidentally use all of your contribution before actually offering, grab that out and you're saved, you know? So the offering re rewards are really great, even if you're on a purple or a green, I mean, it's still pretty good, so. Also been working on our demigod a bit, level 61 Azure Dragon. We'll need Neptune Boots next. Is that going to be a problem? Not sure how many shards I have. Okay, well we have 14 shards, so that should work pretty quickly. Only need 6 shards there. And then the Dragon's Home we can get out of the Bazaar. But right now Crystals are very limited, so I'm trying to spend them at least somewhat wisely. You know, when I see those Champering Shards or whatever in the uh, Guild Bazaar, I'm gonna have to go and buy them. And usually I have to take stuff off of my belt to smelt, and that's probably not the smartest thing to do. But, you know, rings and necklaces uh, are very, very rare in both the market and the guild bazaar, so when I see them I have to forget everything and go for them, you know? Do what I have to, including smelting belt items. So we're going to take a look at achievements a bit. So seeing if there's any we're close to, let's see, we need one more level uh, refined 6 equipment for this one. My, my champion necklace is at refined 5, and uh, yeah, it's going to take a probably about a week or two before I can get the other like 18 shards I need because you can refresh the arena store to get more shards and maybe I find some in the bazaar not sure I've noticed the rings are a lot more common than the necklaces at least for some stuff so Neptune necklaces are more common than Neptune rings I've noticed and champ rings are more common than champ necklaces but anyway yeah so <laughs> I have one S skill on my pets now, and that is Deadly Mark, so that was the, that has been the only S skill I've gotten, uh, and totally satisfied with that because Deadly Mark is probably the best S skill there is. I mean, some of Sun Wukong's S skills are pretty great as well, and Nezha's too. And I'm kind of uh, splitting my Awaken pills between Nezha and Phoenix, because I want both of their S skills as well, eventually. So, dealing 50 million damage in one round to the Mega Boss may work, now that I have Deadly Mark, I'm not sure. Maybe we'll, uh, I'll give that a try. The Mega Boss is coming up in about 20 minutes or so. And yeah, kind of far away for everything there. 30,000 contribution, got 5,000 to go in that department. Okay, well we're at 386 max might, so we have 14k to go for that achievement for the 400k. So, might want to start focusing on raising might. Uh, PvP, I'm kind of far away in everything, you know. I, uh, I'm i not doing all that much PvP. Yeah, one thing I'm, I'm actually wondering is how the hell we're supposed to do this uh, this achievement here. Digging 8800 diamonds. I mean, they've taken dig away. I'm not sure if that's permanent or temporary. But if it is permanent, then they have to just give everyone this, this achievement. Or it's something that will never be able to be finished, you know. That's weird. Ah, now that we are level 75, I believe we have some instances to do. Checking our pets real quick. Yeah, I think that's actually... that's actually fine. Oh, what do we got here? Ah, okay. Built my Citadel. 
cool. And also we should change our title because the Achievement King does give the most might, or the Achievement God actually, but uh, Title Titan is more useful. I actually do like Can't Touch This as well uh, for the extra crit damage, but I'm not totally sure if 15% crit damage outweighs 2400 damage plus 2% damage resist. Can't tell. Anyway, going in with Phoenix, what I usually try and do is get Phoenix's uh, buff here, killing these guys, alright, got it, and then transforming to Captain Sam, and he can just wipe the entire field with his wave there, that is really cool. When you have uh, Phoenix's buff, he can basically annihilate everything. Alright, so on to what I would assume the boss room is. We've switched out, okay, well Hades is dead, you know, I still need to do a lot of work on Hades before I can actually really use him anywhere, especially in these uh, higher level instances. So yeah, but eh, I brought him just in case he might be able to land death mark on anything, but doesn't look like that's actually gonna happen. Eh, man, these enemies are really strong when you have no buff. They take a lot of damage. Alright, but it looks like we should be able to get to the boss now. I'm gonna switch out to Bork and Mephisto, seeing if we can't do some damage on this dude. Not totally sure if we're gonna be able to 3 star this one because uh, getting here was actually pretty fast since there was only actually one real uh, pre-room before the boss room. So I think we did get here pretty fast, but uh, he's pushing me back a lot. I'm not totally sure. Did get Mephisto's boost again, so maybe just one more smash if this dude would... Alright, there we go. He didn't drop anything good, but I don't care as long as we... Yes, as long as we 3-star, then I'm gonna go ahead and confirm. And you know, every time you're doing a new instance, you should go and auto-loot it. Uh, immediately, or run it again, or whatever you want, so you can get the uh, 30 diamonds for completing it twice. Because if you don't do that immediately and go on to the next one, then you have to go back and auto-loot it two more times, instead of just once. So let's go ahead and check out the next one here. Okay, gonna try and get Phoenix again. Okay, cool, we got it. Let's go ahead and transform to Sam. Um, there's not many... Okay, here we go. Boom! Four million, six million, yeah, just wiped that entire field there, that was nice. And usually I like to use the first skill as well, where it sends them all up into the air, so my pets are actually pretty safe, because, you know, while they're in the air, they can't attack. Alright, well, we have, um, alright, cool. Well, I didn't have Phoenix buff anymore, but it still does a ton of damage, because, you know, my Captain Sam is enhanced. His wave move is only, like, level five, I think, but even so, it does a ton of damage. So we're going to try and get Phoenix's skill again on one of these dudes, I'm not sure if that's going to work though, oops, missed, ah, damn it, ah, ah, now my Phoenix is dead. So that didn't turn out very well, but hopefully we can still kill this dude with the Mephisto and Boric combo. Uh, oh well, he is taking quite a bit of damage, so that should work. You know, I am focusing on crit rate and a bit on crit damage, so I am landing mostly criticals on the enemies here, which means even without Red Phoenix, I can still do a decent amount of damage, especially while transformed to Boric. But it is still kind of hard because I don't have an enhanced Boric yet, and most people around uh, my level that didn't rush have enhanced Borics, so it's also kind of hard in PvP because I'm always having to fight enhanced Borics. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and auto loot it there and get my rewards. And going on to the last one. One thing I did want to talk about is Fireborn contacted me the other day, or actually last night, showing that one of his videos has a lot of dislikes. If it's any of you guys doing that, please stop because it, I'm getting a lot of heat for that. If it is you guys, definitely don't do it on my behalf. Just leave it alone. We are not enemies. We are not rivals. Uh, so stop. But anyway, we've gotten to the boss here. We did manage to get Red Phoenix, but now we're going to try and get it again because it ran out. And now we have Phoenix and Mephisto bus. Okay, 4 million in a smash. That was actually pretty decent. Yeah, but I think we ran out of both buffs now, so I'm actually taking a lot of damage from this dude. Not sure if I'm going to survive here. <sighs> I did actually have a lot of trouble on the uh, last boss instance for the level 74s, I believe. Uh, the one with the little Boric Spirit Maiden Sun Wukong and I think the giant stone statue guy all in one place. That was really hard because there was like Spirit Maiden stunning you and 
Boric smashing around and everything. But okay, this guy is going down now, so that was that was pretty decent. I think that was a three star. Let's check it out. Yes, just eight seconds though. We only had eight seconds to spare in that one. So that was actually pretty close. All right, cool. We got some rewards here. Nine of these runes. Oh, and we also have a new place to uh, get Phoenix Souls. Now, while I do uh, encourage running it manually, this one is too long and too too annoying to run manually. Uh, there's a lot of places to go through, so I'm not going to run that one manually. And actually, I'm not really running any of them manually anymore, to be honest, because I really wanted to get it up to about Evo 8. So I ran all the places manually until Evo 8. But now that I have the uh, first place for pet title, I don't, I'm not in such a huge rush to Evo it up really fast. But I mean, there's always a benefit to higher Evos uh, besides just the uh, title, of course. Never mind. So I'm just going through the stores and checking that I've gotten everything that I need to. I mainly focused on mount armor still because I am only a few shards away from being able to tier 2 my spark fang. I'm still using the sword mount though because uh, I can't tier 2 my spark fang yet. But yeah, anyway, going to go after Evil End in a few minutes when it starts, and we're going to check that out. But that's going to be all for today, guys. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time. So anyway, we finished Mega Boss, and... Well, it wasn't exactly what I expected because after about five minutes, I got a message from a fellow guild member, Nagato, that he needs the first place title. So after about five minutes, I stopped attacking to let him get ahead of me. So maybe tomorrow I can show you guys the full power of the uh, death mark in Mega Boss. So, but yeah, it's all fine, you know, favors for a guild member. So it's all good. You're welcome, Nagato.